Well, the city of Revishal is plagued with crime and corruption, that much is obvious. But one man, a detective with a troubled past, is determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. But, with no leads and no money, I need to get creative if I want to make any progress. So I need to make some cash if I'm going to keep working on this case. And I think the first order of business is for me and Lieutenant Kim here. Set out, start gathering bottles from around the city to earn enough money to keep this case moving forward. All right, it's time to take a look and see what we have here for some inventory. Going through this inventory, it's obvious I have to equip this bag. I don't know what I was thinking. How am I going to be able to pick up any bottles? Collect these bottles. So now I'm equipping the bag in my right hand. This plastic bag has Frite written on it in a dynamic, forceful manner that implies great prices. As you crack it open, a multi gust of air flies in your face. Smells of yeast and beer. Oh, a perfect place for tear. And I'm just behind this Cape Side Apartments here and behind in the back end of it. That's really bothering me. I haven't been able to find a way inside. I know it's going to be an important part of this case, especially if I can inter interview that guy up top again. That's a pretty good view. And there's obviously something very suspicious with the neighbors peeping through their windows, spying on us as we were talking about the case. It's paramount. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I need to figure out a way somehow to get inside this apartment. I've checked the back, no success. Went through the front, no success. Yeah, I would love to talk to her too. I'm gonna keep thinking about this. I'm on my little mini mission here of collecting bottles. I figure if I can pick off about another three or four more Riel, I'll have more than enough to buy that raincoat. And I think I do need to find a raincoat. Now on second thought, I might not have to buy that raincoat because from what I remember, I think there was an interesting look of piece of clothing hanging on the rail up the top of the Cape Side Apartments and that could very well be a raincoat for the taking. We'll see. Because I still have that money or that fee, that business, which I still don't 100% agree with. Having to pay that cafeteria manager for the damages he said I did. Breaking the window. Still not convinced I did that. But we'll find out. We'll get to the bottom of this. Slowly starting to gather my my memory here starting to feel a little bit better things not sure how much longer I want to work with this lieutenant Kim though feel like he's cramping my style I work much better alone and I'm not really sure what he's what his purpose is his true intentions are not being from the same precinct is a concern. I think he's keeping tabs on me. 
But why? The question is why? And the other question is why I am, am I in this state? Thinking more and more like I was set up. So starting how it's how it's really starting to feel here. I'm almost starting to think if I was set up for this this murder. I have to keep these thoughts obviously to myself. I'm just thinking of everything right now. It just doesn't feel right. But we'll keep going. this monument here. What does that say? It's an ancient fountain. I guess it doesn't pump water anymore. And there's a tree in it. What's over here? Tire tracks leading onto the roof. The slush and rain has almost washed them off. Interesting. Tire tracks leading on to the roof. Okay. I'm going to check this building out. Never know what I'll find down here. That looks interesting. And I think that'll come in. Quite handy. It'll be useful. Yeah, just what I figured. There's more terror down here. I don't think I want to talk to anybody just now. Not yet. Most important thing is to just gather bottles, gather, gather terror, and make some money. I sure do admire Lieutenant Kim's vehicle. It's a thing of beauty to behold. From a classic design to its powerful engine. This vintage ride is one I won't soon forget. I'd like to get my hands on one of these. Hell, I'd like to know what the hell it is that I am driving. Where are my wheels? Just a foggy mystery to me so far. I guess I'll have a word with this vendor here. Let's see what he has to say. See a few more bottles here. May as well grab them while I'm here. Deal's so good, huh? Can't pass them up, right? Where have I heard that before? Well, anyway, what's in this crate here? Let me check it out. There are clothes inside. Cheap second-hand clothes, smelling of strangers' body odors. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics, best retro design. Save the economy with your style, officer. Oh yeah, sure. Let me browse through it first. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. Yeah, okay. Let me see if I can find something worth salvaging from this pile of rags that you have in here. Something cold grazes your hand. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Surf, it says, but also wind. Summer. 100% waterproof. And sport. All in different typefaces. This jacket is the apex of human evolution. The moment at which man became weatherproof. Practical, and yet it may deaden your senses to the world around you. Possibly because of the awful typeface. 
good choice officer mega sporty and it's only 450 for you sir come on 450 that's ridiculous this thing looks like a piece of shit i'm not gonna give you 450 for this i can buy a brand new raincoat the frite for four four real come on quit gouging there's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box. A variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the latest styles right here. Yeah, let me see what you have in this box first. If it's anything like what I saw before, I'm not getting my hopes up. These are all boring. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. The kind of plastic that melts in the sun. These are all first-rate sunglasses. Premium design, superb material, very cool. UV resistant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool while doing your dangerous police work. Hey, don't lie to me, punk. That Syrian plastic is dangerous to one's health when it melts. I should report you for selling these dangerous goods. Kim, let's get the hell out of here. Hey, isn't that that Wild Pines? That's where we met that drunk in the Whirling Inn Reg Hostel next door. Then he have Wild Pine <coughs> on his coat, labeled on his coat. What do we have here? This is where the strikers are, I guess. Okay, well... There will be a time to talk to these guys. But now is not the time. I see a bottle over in, in behind over here. It's more important. But I do want to talk to this guy right here in the center. Looks like their ringleader. We might have some information. So obviously we have some real unrest here in Revachol. Some serious unrest. There's the frit. Just outside the frit. I should have collected more than enough to pick up that raincoat. Let's see. There's the tear machine right over there. Check it out. Let's see how much I can get. The tear dogs. machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals 10 cents. Okay, let's put these bottles Your bottles in clunk into the machine and the money appears with a satisfying jingle. All You're right. a richer man now. Yeah, very rich. 370 real. Okay, so I have now seven... 7.37, so I have more than enough to buy that jacket. Your bottles clunk into the do machine. Do you know what you should do with that money, kiddo? You should buy more alcohol. Enter the endless cycle of consumption. Forget that. Don't need the alcohol. Not right now, it's 11.36 a.m. Day one, year 51. Whatever year that is, I still don't know. Time to leave this place. I think it's time to head back to the scene of the crime. I know earlier I was saying I wanted to get inside Cape Side apartment. I don't think I don't think that's gonna work at this time. But one thing that I think will work is rummaging through that garbage can when that man's hanging from the tree. I might find some evidence in there, you never know. I guess I should equip this pry bar 
red tip pry bar has Carson T heavy duty engraved just below the handle. It's a heavy duty pry bar. It's a good one. It's satisfy satisfyingly heavy and perhaps one of the most useful tools to carry around. I also have this. I don't need to carry the bag anymore. I also have that flashlight. That's good. I think I'm going to use that later on. I think Lieutenant Kim will probably exit the scene. If I remember correctly, it was around 2200 hours. So at that time, I should be able to go on my own. A flashlight will come in handy. Before that, I'm going to investigate this garbage can. Never know what I'll find in here. And this kid, not sure about him yet. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, Whirling in Rags. Whirling in Rags trash container, why am I looking at you? You're just a the trash container. The body is container. downwind from here. Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Oh yeah, how do we get the lock open? We could oh. try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, uh -huh. or... Did someone say, pry bar? Fuck yeah, pry bar. You like that, don't you? Don't you, Officer Kim? You want to see me pry this garbage can open? See if I can open this Pry bar, up. pry bar. Your palms yearn its cold touch. To grasp it once more, as you've done so many times. Ah, uh, yes, I have. You did say or, Lieutenant. What were you referring to? Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the Whirling in Rags. He probably has one. That asshole. Whirling in Rags the manager. manager. Bullshit. Yeah. Go straight for the pry bar and pry this baby wide open. Forget that, Manager Kim. We're gonna go for it right here. I'll show you how it's done. Step aside. Let me open this thing. Force time isn't ah. happening. You've jammed the pry bar under the lid, pry bar. but it just isn't bending. What is this? Your triceps ache for the metal to bend, but it resists. This calls for a potent curse to help break its resistance. Utter the power words. Come on, Kim. What the fuck kind of metal is this? This is fucking shit that you gave me. What kind of piece of shit is this? The quality of metal is not the problem. From what I see, it's sturdy enough. I... I've been able to open cans before. Tin can like this should easily open. Hang on. I'm gonna hang from this damn pry bar. We'll see if... See if this'll do the trick. There's Stand a creaking side. sound as the pry bar slips under the lid. You hang from it like a moron, huffing and puffing. Clearly the technique is wrong. But nothing else comes to mind. Damn it. That's it. I can't pry it Let's open. Let's ask Kim. the manager for the key. This is clearly not working. But I wanted to use the pry bar. I feel like I'm losing out on something not using the pry bar. The dumpster is goading you. It thinks you're weak. Yeah, it's locked, all right. All I need to do is jam the tool under the lid and pull. I should be able to open this. I don't see why I'm having such a problem opening this, opening this lid. Hang on, Kim, let me check something here. All right, let me go to my physical instrument here. Physical instrument reflects powerful muscles and enjoy healthy organs. I've got a skill point here use that to level up. That's exactly what I'm going to do. There's no way that this garbage can is going to show me up. Not with a six physique. It ain't going to happen. Now watch. The body is downwind from here. 
Maybe you prefer the smell of garbage to the smell of death. Ah, uh, I'm gonna force the time. This time she's gonna open Stick the down. pry bar to the fissure beneath the lid and push down. It doesn't take much force. With a satisfying crack, the metal gives way. You can open the lid now. See, what did I tell you, Kim? What did I tell you? Don't. Maybe you shouldn't. I mean, maybe I shouldn't. What's this? Open the lid. Uh, what are you saying? Just the feeling. A warning from some part of you. All right, Inland Empire. The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. We're just in time. This hasn't been emptied for over a week. Yeah, I can see that. You know what? I'm gonna look under the box. You see, milk and egg rest with one broken egg in it. Some pasta wrapper. Picking up the soggy packages somehow feels familiar. A box falls into pieces in your hands. Batiste Sole cereal. There are plastic pasta packages below. And turbo noodles. Nothing of note, however. Plastic pasta packages? Let me pick those rags. Among the threadbare kitchen towels, something catches your eye. A pair of denim trousers. Oh, here we go. I've got something. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. The victim's clothes? <laughs> Cadaverine odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Okay, so who did this? Who did this? Drop them in here, officer. Lieutenant produces a black plastic bag marked evidence from his pocket. All right. Let's bag these trousers, Lieutenant. Guitar marked blue jeans. Pockets empty or emptied. He wore them with a belt, too. A white belt. The loops appear stretched, but... Lieutenant looks into the belt the is missing. That's it. Do you see anything else in there? I have another bag here. Let me look. Hang on. Something slimy catches your eye. And I'm gonna reach for it. Just wait. A drab, long-sleeved shirt, olive-colored, appears from the food waste, dripping with pus. Okay, I've got something else here. Looks like a This shirt. is a military type overgarment. No label or serial number. This is the kind of ribnit shirt that's worn over light armor to conceal it in an urban scenario. Anything more? Uh, I'm not sure, just... The rest of the rags are just kitchen variety waste. A yellow old mug that catches your eye. But other than that... Uh, throw in a towel and there's a mug. All right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. You and your or Gart. that one. Yeah, you and your I'd advise Gert. against confronting that force. Oh, come on. What do you mean? You think someone from the Whirling might have been involved, or what are you thinking? Not really. All we know is the victim's clothes are in the trash, the lid was locked, and his establishment had the key. It's just a small loose thread. All right. You're quick to write off the whirling in rag, though. Little the lieutenant see. nods, then looks back into the trash container. You know what? Should we keep searching? I want to look at this mug. I'm not going to leave that mug there. Hang on. You pick out a broken mug with an oddly racist depiction of the yellow man frolicking in saffron. Oh, look at this. Here you go. It's Only in its social sensibility. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take the mug. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant briefly glances at the mug, then returns his sight to the trash. Ah, I don't feel like going through that food waste, but what the hell, I'm here. I'm elbows deep, so I may as well continue. I'll search the food waste. It's just organic waste, cold and slimy on your hands. Apple and potato pills, mostly. Unidentified sludge and the occasional chicken bone thrown in for good measure. But hey, 
What's this? Hold on. Hold on. A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. Here we go. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. Yeah, I'll pick it out. Something larger. A clipboard. A blue plastic clipboard with moist papers hanging from it. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes. What the written hell? Written in a man's handwriting. What the hell is this? Look at this. Officer, is that your paperwork? You know, I don't know. What the hell? What is this? I think this is. It is. Look, the plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form in there. A miserable looking slip of paper sticks to the board. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? You know what? That's a hell of a good question. But since I don't remember where I live and don't remember where my don't remember my own name, how the hell do you think I'm gonna remember dropping this thing in the trash? It's probably no more than I must have been cramping my Officer, style. this is an official piece of paperwork. It probably contains notes on numerous ongoing investigations, and could even list undercover operatives, informants. I suggest integrating it into your style. Yeah, Hold yeah, on, yeah, sex. yeah. Okay, hold on. Easier said than done. How could this pathetic cabbage of copy paper and plastic ever become tre disco? I don't know, Kim. I don't know if I'm liking the tone here. Sounds like this is in order. And remember something, I, I don't see. take them. Yes. You are what we call a badass. You aren't damn you? right. He makes little quotation marks around the words, indicating he is unsure of his actual Tell badassery. Me, does your badass see more in there, or are we done here? Don't get too smart with me, Kim. The lieutenant peers into the trash. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, and it would also be appropriate to start taking notes on the case. It's what cops do. <laughs> All right, all right. I think it's time to close the lid. Close the lid, and I think it's time to close this episode of Disco Elysium. Ooh, am I liking this? This is good. The container sounds of muffled this going. This is good. I'm enjoying this. The container sounds of muffled going. Okay. That's one thing off the list. Yeah. I think we got it all. Okay, good. Then let's leave. Thank you very much for watching Disco Elysium. I'll be back soon.